I was sure not her. Does not have a good question. Sir, does not have a good question. Sir, you so you guys threw a full back wheel route to Siena Uma and uh, looked like it had some similar elements to the one that Michigan State ran against you earlier this year. How often do you guys look at something that an opponent ran and take sort of similar elements, tweak it, and put it in the playbook? Well, I think that you are constantly looking at what other teams do. You're looking at what uh, defenses you're going to see and how they compare to the defense that either you play or that other teams play. And, uh, you know, it's sometimes there's just times that you're going to go look and you know, say, hey, are they in this coverage during this time? Or is this a team that runs similar type looks? And um, ball plays are stolen all the time, you know, from everybody and everywhere. And you'll see very often, you know, you could turn on plenty of games and say, wait, didn't they just run this? Or didn't Michigan just run this? Or didn't Seattle just run that? Or whoever it might be. Um, it's just constantly you're always looking and watching film. And when good ideas or things that look like we could use, you know, you'll, you'll always try to use them. Yeah, is, is Jake getting more freedom from you guys to make decisions in terms of plays than he had earlier in the year as you get more comfortable with him? No, I think he's really getting more <clears throat> just aware of the entire system rather than half of it or three quarters of it. And so the more he's aware of what we're trying to do, the more he can um, get to certain guys faster or maybe the where may, he can get rid of the ball quicker. He can um, hold the ball longer and knowing that maybe something's picked up where maybe early on in the season he might have thought that, uh, you know, might in the protection scheme might not have known it was picked up. So maybe he checked it down quick. Um, there's, you know, I think more just knowledge base, you know, and as knowledge base grows, you become more comfortable. And when you become more comfortable, maybe it feels like you're getting to different things, but you're really just going through maybe early in your career as a rookie quarterback or as a first year in our system quarterback, maybe it was I can go one, two, check down. Now maybe he feels good enough to go one, two, three, check down, or one, two, three, four, check down. And I think you see that in the NFL with rookies to their second year. I think you see it with guys throughout the season. I think Jim credited you with the screen game. Can you talk about how that's come along and how pleased you are with it? It's everybody gets credit for that. Um, it, you know, it's really uh, the, the whole screen game. I, do, I believe um, that you can get a lot of yards. Uh, in the screen game, and if everybody is on the uh, uh, same page with it, and we can get um, different, you know, different uh, ways to do it, different formations, different um, guys catching screens. I think you do get some some gimme yards at times, but then there's also times when screens are called and they don't look good. It's just a ball thrown right at the dirt, you know. So you got to be careful with that with screens. Um, but, no, I mean, I know he said that, but it's everybody has everything to do with our screen game. And um, it's just one of those deals that uh, we ran a lot of them at different places where I've been and um, have uh, really enjoyed the different aspects of it. You know, you can be real creative in a screen game, which, uh, you know, it's not always just straight drop back deal. Does, does hitting a few of those early on help Jake get into where they look like it helped him out against uh, last week, kind of get into where they're Is that part of the game? Yeah, I think he had a couple screens uh, four or five weeks ago also. Uh, Northwestern game maybe, I think we hit a couple of them. Maryland game, Maryland game is when we hit a couple of them too. Um, but, no, you know, I think obviously it's a completion that can turn into an explosive play without having to hold the – you know, without having to um, sit and wait. Although, as you guys watch screens, there's five guys running in your face, so you got to be cautious with that. Um, as well. So, yeah, I, I think really um, they're used at times when uh, maybe it was a third and long, the first one we hit on, and then another one was a different D&D. &D. And you can just kind of use them sporadically. And when they hit, they're good. When they don't hit, you know, no one really talks about them. It's just another incompletion. Can you talk about uh, Pepper's value as a decoy as well as when you put the ball in his hands? Yeah, well, he's just got great value. Period. You know, so he's a great football player, and he's a guy that we can continue um, to play all sorts of different, you know, do all different things for us, whether he's outside, whether he's inside, whether he's playing a, you know, 
he's probably done, done what? He's played running back, he's played wide receiver, and he's taken a snap. So, you know, he is, uh, he is great value there for us, and uh, he's just a very good football, another good football player, a skilled guy that can go out there and, um, you know, that you can run your offense with.